Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. My name is Kevin and this is Sophie right here. She's not paying much attention to us. I'm sure that'll change in just a second when she realizes I'm talking to you. At any rate, she's down here today because Blue Ridge Mama and Reagan, one of the homeschool hustlers, is out of town. So Turner is over here and he knows when Blue Ridge Mama is gone, he knows that when I'm in here shipping, he gets to play his Xbox. So we don't let him play it all day. But he knows that when I'm doing this video, and so he ran in there and got his video games going on. So, right, Sophie, what are you doing, girl? Huh? You gonna say hi? I have a feeling you're gonna wanna go in a minute. Hey, I hope you all have enjoyed looking at the Commonwealth Cabin in some of our videos lately. It's coming right along. You all right there, girl? Sophie, you okay? All right, I'm gonna let Sophie go and we can get on with this video. I sold some good stuff today, though. You'll like to take a look at it. All right, tell them goodbye. Say bye, Strider. Hey, we're gonna go out there and we're gonna hang out with Turner, all right? All right, like I said, we have sold some pretty good stuff today. We have sold some large items, two of them, some really big ones, and I like it when we get rid of some large items, clears up a little bit of space, although I kept these items up in my attic. I don't keep everything up in my attic because it can get really hot and really cold, but these items weren't gonna get damaged at all. So I'm glad they're gone, but I had to, had to crawl up in that attic and grab them. Matter of fact, I forgot I had them. They were from a very, very early, I think, uh, Goodwill thrifting video that I did. And, and there's a, I think, a thrifting playlist at the bottom here, and you can go check that out. You'll probably find it, I'm not sure. I think it's just a picture of Goodwill. I'm not exactly sure, to be honest with you, but I did buy them at Goodwill, and they are headed out the door today. And we had one of the very last Happy Little Accident sales, and we have just a couple of things left, and that is all from that yard sale, from that garage sale. And so we're gonna round out that one and look at our total and maybe keep it around till we sell that very last item out of the, it's, I think it's the last one that we have. I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure it's the last one. So we'll keep looking at that until the very end and we'll show you where that one is at. So at any rate, let's take a look what's sold today. All right, first one is another club head cover. We've been selling a lot of these lately. It seems like one a day. This is Titleist 913F, and there's a viewer, and I can't remember your name, said, hey, I think maybe the used ones sell because they want them to match their used ones and they lost one. Who knows? Maybe so. This one sold for $11, so it's probably around a $6 profit. I think I wrote down five. I'm not quite sure. But we'll let you take a look at what we've made out of this sale so far. All right, we call this one the Lost and Found Golf Course Sale. Spent $250, still have two brand new bags and a bin full of club head covers. $332, so we're $82 profit so far. I'm hoping for at least a $300 profit, and I think that's a pretty safe bet. All right, here is the really, really large item. Boy, I'm going to have to use this for a thumbnail if I can fit it in there. I don't know what I, I could write a lot on this thumbnail. Anyway, this is what's sold, and it's not just one. It's two of them. And the guy bought both of them. I don't know, can you hear Turner out there? At any rate, this guy bought two of these things, and they sold for $60 plus shipping. So I think we paid 5 bucks for these. So I'm really happy these are gone. And like I said, I forgot they were here. I thought they would sell in the fall. And now they're selling at uh, halfway through winter, and I guess he's going to use them next fall. I don't know. All right, I raised the prices on the Enemy the other day, and that was just for non-viewers. Viewers, if you want them, 10 bucks is still the price for you guys because you have supported this channel in an unbelievable way. So just send me a message if you want one. But this got this was full price, and I didn't see a message that I'm aware of. It could be a viewer based on the name of the buyer, but I'm not certain. So if it is, Will, we really do appreciate it, and it was full price, $14.41. All right, these two sold, and holding these up reminds me of so many viewers. You've seen me drop things before here in the eBay cave. And I played baseball, and I had pretty good hands. I was a pretty good second baseman uh, in college. I didn't, I couldn't hit too good in college, but I didn't make any errors. And for whatever reason, as I age here in the eBay cave, it seems like I drop stuff. And some of the viewers were pretty scared that I was going to drop that uh, $250 coffee mug, but I ended up not dropping it. So hopefully I don't drop these either. There are only one more set of Old World Christmas ornaments to sell. And then there are a few ornaments left from the Happy Little Accident in the antique booth, but most of them have come out because most of them were Christmas ornaments. But there are some that were 4th of July and some Valentine stuff and St. Patrick stuff that is still in the antique booths at Bell Treasures and on, I think they're at Bell Treasures 
on North Bridge Street in Bedford. And let me know if you're ever coming by down there. Maybe we'll stop by and say hi. And our other antique booth is across the street at Needful Things, but we don't have any of the Happy Little Accident items in there. These sold for $20 plus shipping. And so we'll make about $16, $17. Just take a look at that. That's kind of nice. It's Valentine's Day, right? It's time to sell. Love bugs. Love bugs is what they're called. All right, so those old world Christmas ornaments, keep an eye out for them because they do sell. We sold tons of them. $2,319 on our $200 buy for the Happy Little Accident. If you are new to the show, you should go back and check out the Happy Little Accident. Maybe I'll link it here or you can just type in Commonwealth Picker, Happy Little Accident. I have a couple videos titled that. Go to the earliest one. It's a neat little sale and we've been keeping pages and pages and we have made, at this point, $2,119 on it. And we're going to make a little bit more. All right, here's an item I haven't sold in a while. And it's a mountain hardware jacket. And this fleece is in really good condition. I didn't see any spots or anything like that. It was not a Goodwill item. I don't remember where I bought this, but I remember getting it really, really cheap. Because I brought it home and told Blue Ridge Mama and said, hey, look at this thing. It might have been the 100-mile yard sale between Danville and Lynchburg. I think that's where it was actually, but I wouldn't bet on it. The last time I sold one of these was about a year and a half ago. And the school that I work at, I'm a history teacher, the school that I work at, at the end of the year, takes all their lost and found stuff and sets it out. And, you know, the kids come, I guess the idea is they come and look through it and grab it. I don't know. At any rate, they was sitting out there like two days after school ended. And I was at the school, and I'm like, hey, what's going on with this stuff? And they said, just take whatever you want. And I thought, okay. So I grabbed three or four things, and this was one, or not this one, but I got a Mountain Hardware one that was in there. And it had a little stain on it, but I sold that thing still. This one sold for $30 plus shipping. And sometimes you can get a little bit more, depending on size and color. All right, this one was a full price one, and I don't see a message, although sometimes they send me messages on, a, on the eBay messaging system as opposed to when they buy it. So Melissa, thank you so much if you are a viewer. And if not, thank you anyways. Yep, might as well do this one too because the next one is really cool. And I'm excited to have it out of here. This one sold for $14.41 as well. And again, Donna, if you are a viewer, thank you so much. And if you aren't, thank you as well. That one's got a little. That one's face crooked. I can't tell. What do you think? I'll put it in the reject pile. You know, you got it pretty bad if you're a reject enema. It's bad enough being an enema. All right, we sold one more of these horror movies. And if you haven't gone back and checked out this garage sale video, you should check it out. The guy's wearing a t-shirt and the thumbnail says, I love hot moms. And I'm like, oh boy. But I had bought from him before. And he still had VHS out there. And I'm like, oh my goodness. I've already cleaned this this pile of VHS out one time. I'm going to go back and see what else I can find. But I didn't want to waste a bunch of time. So I just said, hey, how much you want? And I just piled a box up. I think I paid five bucks for the box. He was asking like a quarter a piece. It was pretty cheap. So I just piled it up and brought it home, sorted it out. A lot of it is horror movies, vintage horror movies. Some of it's like vintage rock and roll stuff. Some of it is just old VHS. And sometimes old VHS, if they never came out on DVD, can be worth a little bit of money. And there were a few of those in there as well. But this one was a really good one. Let me read you this here. It says, uh, hard to die. It says, a group of beautiful young women are about to experience the most horrifying night of their lives, trapped in a deserted skyscraper with a crazed killer at their heels. It says it's the female version of Die Hard. $50 plus shipping. And this one's going to Canada. And if you hang around at the end of the video, I'm going to show you something that might surprise you a little bit if you don't do international shipping with the new prices that have gone up. And I didn't cover this on the that I put on Commonwealth Flipper, but the international prices for shipping, if you do calculated shipping and put in the weight, has gone really high. A lot of people do global shipping, and I do a little bit of global shipping if, if it's over four pounds. But... I'll oftentimes just do calculated shipping on them because I don't want to take the time to go in and click and do flat rate unless I think it's an item that would possibly sell internationally. If it's an item that doesn't sell internationally, I'm going to give it an option, but I'm not going to spend forever on it. But if it's an item I think has an international market, I'll put a flat rate cost based on what it's going out on pirate ship for a flat rate. 
This one, the calculated shipping on it at I think 12 ounces is $20.75 to send it to Canada, which is crazy expensive. eBay charges like $18.37 and Pirate Ship was much, much cheaper. So if that's something you're interested in, uh, you need to make sure that you uh, check that out. Lonnie at Garage Flips or Shed Flips has done extensive videos on that over the last year or so. And, uh, and he's kind of the expert guy on it and has taught a lot of us how to do that. And I appreciate that. And I don't want to go without mentioning that. So at any rate, I'll show you at the end of the video about how much of a discount that pirate ship can be. All right, we go from selling a trashy vintage horror movie to selling... Uh, a journaling Bible from Crossway. And this one's brand new in the plastic. I think I paid $3 for it. I, I could be wrong. I think I remember paying $3 at a garage sale that had virtually nothing at it. I almost did a drive-by, but I saw a couple things that kind of intrigued me a little bit. And I saw four guys standing out there and they were all like in their mid-20s. And I thought, hmm, four guys in their mid-20s. I can guarantee you there's a video game in that lot somewhere. And turned out there wasn't because they were just manning the garage sale for their significant others while they were out eating breakfast. <laughs> At any rate, this was there and it was sealed and I think I paid $3. It sold for $25 free ship. So it'll be $2.80 to ship it minus fees, minus expenses. It's still like a $16, $17 profit. All right, I forgot to show you this. I'm going to call this uh, I Love Hot Moms sale because of that guy's t-shirt. We spent five bucks. I think that I have to go back and watch it myself. I'm pretty sure that's what we spent. If somebody goes and watches it, let me know in the comments how much I spent on that stuff. At any rate, it so far on three VHS, three, and there was three or four that I just ended up donating. There's actually two I threw away because they were in really rough shape. We sold a bunch and a lot, and I still have some that I haven't listed. So just out of three, and these are three of the best. We're up to a $99 profit on three vintage VHS. Now, I'm not even saying go out there and just hunt down VHS. This guy was kind of an anomaly. He clearly had a collection of vintage VHS that were, uh, I guess every VHS is vintage at this point, but happened to be a really good lot. I don't often find VHS that are worth a lot of money, but those were. All right, this is another one of those. This is an FA-18 Hornet, and this is giving absolute detailed diagrams. And we bought tons of this stuff for next to nothing. I'm probably in this literally for two cents. We sold this one for $8.41. So we've been selling them. Some go as high as $15 plus shipping. Uh, some go as low as like $8, $7.99. So this is $8.41, which is still going to make us a nice little, probably close to $4, $4.50 profit. Right, here is another Animan. I'll tell you what, this, this just blows my mind. I can only say thank you. Because I know a lot of you are doing it just to support us, and I really do appreciate it. This one sold, and this one sold to George. And his note says, Just want to say thank you for all the videos. I, like many others, I'm sure, get my no get my motivation and inspiration from watching you every day. Had to have an animad for my eBay room. Maybe he can help me keep listing and selling. George Crabtree, Manatee Street Marketplace. I had that all screwed up. George, thank you so much. All right, here is another one, and this one's a little different. This one sold, I don't know why I listed it this way, $4.99 plus shipping. So it's around a $4 profit. And this one sold for $10.91 free shipping, and it sold to the same person. So we'll be shipping them out together. And if you're curious about Media Mail, if you are new, most of you old timers uh, know what to do for Media Mail. If you are curious, I did put a video on Commonwealth Flipper dealing with Media Mail, and you can check this out. This is definitely a Media Mailer. For sure. This is a 6-6, six, six, or take it back, 680, oh, and you can usually find, well, you can always find the number of a Tupperware item, usually at the bottom here, but it depends on what kind of item it is. You can also look at the, the type of lids. A lot of times they'll say Z on it. There's different letter lids. This is nothing because it comes for a particular item. Whenever I see this, I know that they go on the lettuce because they have that little bulge at the top and they go on that green lettuce bowl and you put your little head of lettuce in there. And these will sell. So if I if I even just find the lid for a quarter or whatever, I pick it up and they're easy to store. This is literally a five minute item to buy, take pictures of, list. A lot of times I have a listing up of it as well. And I just change the quantity on it. 
So to buy it, to take pictures, to list it, and to ship it is five minutes. And it sold for, hold on, and it sold for $9. So it's the cheapest shipper out there. So you figure, I don't know, let's say $280. $280 to ship it, $1.50 in fees or so, you know, I don't know, $350. So, you know, I'm probably making $5 profit on this item, and it took me five minutes. So if that's the case, I'm making $60 an hour on something like this. A lot of people say that's not worth their time and I totally get it, but for whatever reason, I think it is worth my time. Hey, I gotta ship this stuff anyways, right? Hang around, there's always something cool on the end of the video. We appreciate you being here every single day and we'll see you next time. All right, so I forgot to do flat rate shipping on this. I was listing these videos so quickly that I just did calculated shipping on it. This guy paid $20.75 to go to Canada. It was calculated shipping. That charged $18.72 to me. That's what eBay charges me with these new shipping rates. But you go to Pirate Ship, it's more important than ever, $10.95. So if you're not doing it already, you need to be. All right, Turner has a special gift going out to a special viewer named Kalen. And this is a Care Bear, and I don't know the name of it. And this one is on the house, all right? So Kalen, you know right. who you are out there, and we appreciate you. And we hope you enjoy this one. Bye.